that Griffin just outdid me today with a GoPro. Hey, I have a uh, GoPro I hear that belongs to your son. Yes, Jared. Thank you so much for finding that for him. Hey, absolutely. Yeah, it looked like you guys had a uh, good day at the lake for sure. This is my playground, but first, look at all the loomy loomies that the sun is giving me. On with the show. I'm Mr. Lysak, and today we are heading out with my good buddy, die buddy, Chris, you've seen in some other videos, as well as Griffin Deets. We got Nick Wren and a few others with us heading out today. So, stay tuned, we're gonna have a lot of fun today. What is this? It is the uh, the, the D910V. Today's video is sponsored by Orca Torch. I've got a couple of their flashlights now. I got the 4200 uh, Lumen Orca Torch 860. The new 910V is an actual video light. Although, it is beautiful and sunny here today. The deeper I go, the more the colors just kind of just d dissipate. What's the word on that one, Griffin? Dissipate. Dissipate. With a video light, it's gonna bring those colors back. So I'm gonna show you the 5,000 lumens, the 2,000 that's on here, as well as the 500 setting. And later on today, we're also going to be doing, in fact, I'm not gonna say later on today, because I'm gonna mix all this in, but we're gonna be doing a treasure hunt later today, and we might even find some good fish today. Not that anybody cares about beautiful pictures of fish, but, you know what? We're gonna see what, like I said, we're here to see what this flashlight's gonna do today. So, hang tight, we're gonna get in the water. Myself, Griffin, Chris, as well as Nick Rin. on this dive yet, but Griffin, I like your chair. It, it's very nice. I also ended up with a uh, like a ladder over here. So far that's about all I got, a couple of cans and a uh, cutting board. So I kind of look forward to getting in the water over there at the second landing, because uh, you know we're going to clean up good over there. Oh yeah, that'll be a fun one. Chris, <laughs> I see a, a look bag like way out there. What happened there, buddy? <laughs> well, I didn't feel like dragging a chair along. Well, the wind's blowing though. We're, we're gonna have to go on a rescue mission to go get it. It's like way out there. Get it, Chris, get it. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa, you scored. Now we're gonna run for everyone. <laughs> you scored, man. Like I a saw it first. I saw it first. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah, just clean her right up. She's fine. Oh, yeah, Good as new. Oh, even got a foot rest. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's nice. Right. All Set aboard. Set All aboard. All aboard. <laughs> right there in the middle, Chris. <laughs> Set it up. All aboard. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh yeah. Drew, this thing. Second landing. We have not been here in months, so Pretty excited because we know that there's gonna be a landmine, sunglasses, maybe even a wallet, who knows? I'm gonna start my dive over there at the uh, little boat to the little docks and stuff. Last time I was here, like 40 feet deep, pitch black, winter time, like I can see down to 70 feet. So, we're gonna find something good, I hope. Fingers crossed, here we go!
I was really excited to share with you like all my little finds I just found here. Before we get into that though, I hear that Griffin just outdid me today with a GoPro is what I've been told, Griffin. That is true. Show me your finds, show me your treasures and like what uh, what oh wait your uh, GoPro. Let's get to the, let's get to your other stuff first. Don't right. show don't show them that GoPro yet. Make it wait. <laughs> Make it a teaser. Samsung phone that won't light on fire on an airplane. And I just want to point out real quick, this entire pile is Griffin's and a little bit of Chris's, but mostly Griffin's. I did one take, uh, actually half a tank because of the other little thing that we were doing earlier today. Griffin went all out. He strapped on another tank and uh, yeah, really just crushed it today with cleaning up the uh, environment. And any other treasures in this pile before we get your uh, little GoPro there? Oh, the dangers of an algae bloom. Yeah, don't drink algae blooms. You will be sitting on the toilet for weeks. Chris found this interesting artifact here. You may wonder well, just kind of what's going on here. I don't know. Oh, I got my finger caught in the prop. Ow. Oh, Nick, are you all right? Oh, ow. Oh, that's terrible. I'm probably gonna get demonetized for, uh, oh, you're just I mean, a trickster. what is this? Is it Elastic apron? pieces or something? I don't know. It's an anybody... apron so you can like work out and then later you can go bake cookies. Yeah, maybe. I, like I have no idea what that is. It looks good on you though, Nick. Oh, what else we got in here? Shape. A little baby bib. These are always handy for the boats. Sunglasses, of course. Tons of them. Dog toys. Dog toys galore. Oh, and is, tons of cans and bottles. This is an interesting bottle. Oh, whoa. Is that oh, glass or plastic? Uh, it's glass, but it's really small. That's one of those... Uh, Apple juice, isn't it? No, it's like a little Jim Beam... Is it? Deal or something. Doesn't look like the right shape, but <laughs> maybe. What do I know? Uh, All right, well, we, we've teased him enough, Griffin. Show us your uh, your big find of the day. Oh, yeah. Look, it was even on a headband strap and they still lost it. A Hero 3. Yeah. That's actually a good uh, GoPro. I mean, that should still be good. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully it, it still works, unlike the other one that I have. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, put some footage in, fire it up, and see if we can find the owner on that one. Yeah. That'd be nice. That's ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> Griffin, uh, d I, d wait, I mean, you're, are you any good at actually tracking people down online? You want me to like try to track them down? I would love to, to see if we can find the owner of that. You know what? I, when we get back today, depending on the time, let's plug this thing in, see, see if, see if there's any footage on it. Yeah. And then at that, after that point, after I see what's on it, it's all yours. You can track down the owner. There, there's going to be footage on there. Last time we found a Not camera well. in the river, it took us two, three hours to track down the owner. So it didn't take us very long, especially with Central Oregon being a nice smaller community. If, if they are actually in Central Oregon, it's not gonna take long to find him at all. Well, that didn't take long. Posted a video online last night. Look, here's the video that we posted. Within 12 hours, like by the time I woke up in the morning, I had a message that said, hey, I think I found the owner with a follow-up message that says, nope, I definitely found the owner. Hi, dude, how are you? Hey, good, so I hear you uh, did some detective work for me. Yeah, I was bored, didn't have anything better to do, and I was like sitting here going, well, hmm, okay. <laughs> No, I appreciate, I appreciate that. So, uh, sounds like Ken Kenneth is his dad then? So I sent you another message with all the updated info in Messenger. Um, he owns a business on Barber Boulevard in Portland. And yeah, it belonged to his son. He was surprised when I called him. <laughs> well, excellent. I'll give him a call uh, right now. I appreciate it. Good morning, Seth Car here. This is Mike. How can I help you? Good morning. Is uh, Kenneth available? Yes. Can you hold, please? Thank you. Thanks for holding us, Ken. Good morning, Ken. Jared Lysak. Hey, I have a uh, GoPro I hear that belongs to your son. Yes, Jared. Thank you so much for finding that for him. Hey, absolutely. Yeah, it looked like you guys had a uh, good day at the lake for sure. Yeah, he uh, dove for that thing for a long time trying to get it. I didn't have my scuba gear at all in the RV, or he could have gotten it, but anyhow, he was uh, very depressed. Well, yeah, the weird thing is we actually found it. It was tangled up around a rock, so it almost looked like it was intentional. But uh, when we looked back to the uh, video, I mean, it looked like, yeah, it just dropped it, and then it rolled down an uh, embankment, and somehow along the way it got tangled up in a rock. You want me to send it to your work address here? That uh, the other... Yeah, let me give it to you, 8350. Yep, I've got it right here, the uh, other gentleman that tracked you down this morning. Uh, yeah, from... no problem. All right, I appreciate it. Yeah, let's uh, swap information uh, and get this back to you. I'll do it. All Thank right. you. Thanks, bye. Bye. And just like that, through the power of social media, we have found Timmy, the owner of this GoPro. We're going to get it back to him. So my finds are not as cool as Griffin's, although I did find that iPad. 
iPad, iPad, iPod. I found an iPod. I'll show you that at the very end. So that means you're gonna have to wait for just a few minutes. I found a cutting board, found some fenders for fishing. They're called fishing fenders. I could make myself a nice little pair of earrings out of those. What do you think, Griffin? Oh, they look lovely. A matching his and his pair. Like one for me, one for you. Found you a uh, an opened Corona today. <laughs> you up for a little drinky drinky? You know, I drank the Capri Sun last time, so you're up now. I think that one's yours, Griffin. That one is mine. That's the one that you found earlier. Yeah. Look, we can actually make earrings out of it and then put it in the heart jewelry box. You know, that looks like a heart swimming pool for a crawdad. Because it has little stairs there. So they, so the little crawdads just go up the stairs and then jump in the little heart. Shape exactly, there. exactly. <laughs> I didn't know that. Found myself another, uh, I, I think I've got like three or four of these now this year. The dog evidently uh, oh, yeah. did not like his little leash that he was in. You put these in the ground, you turn them, the dog can't get off. Well, the dog has evidently gotten off of that. He chewed it to pieces and uh, he is no more. It, hey. it, it stinks, but it looks like it's uh, held up pretty good. So we have ourselves a nice little Under Armour muscle shirt. Two, four, six, seven more pairs of sunglasses because the 368 sunglasses we found in the last five months in the first 100 episodes of Adventures with Purpose was not enough, so we picked up seven more. Do you remember that last time when you found the Ferrari? I think we found the other pedal. I, I we found a pedal similar to this one. I remember that. Found another lawn chair. I have no idea what that is. That's for a boat rope, so that when the water skier typically is going from side to side, they're, they don't have the, basically they have a single point that they're pulling on. Oh, all right. I can't describe that very well. But and water skiing. last item of the day is an 80 gigabyte iPod is what I've got here. And before we wrap this up, Chris is really proud of his little uh, find. I don't know, what, say that again, what's it called? It's a sinking magnum Rapala. That's really nice. And uh, you were saying, or somebody was saying that's worth like 25, 30 bucks? Oh yeah, these are one of the big ones. That's really nice. Look at the big hooks on there. That wraps up another episode of Adventures with Purpose. Thank you to Griffin, thank you to Chris, and thank you for Nick. Give us a wave, wave out there. That's it for now. Later, later. Bye, bye. Down. Do, 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 do.